Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. We are on day three of being in Northern Arizona. I'm so happy we are starting our season. I love the desert, got kind of sick of it after six months. But in this video, I'm going to show you what's going on around camp, uh, some different views of my van, some shower information, some cooking information, some solar stuff. I have all sorts of good stuff for you guys today. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Let's begin. I wanted to start this video by giving you a super dark look at my van at night with just my fairy lights and a candle lit. I love this ambiance. So relaxing. So I turn off my main light before we go to bed and just take it all in. Boondocking in an actual forest like this in trees is much different than boondocking in the desert because you have to take into consideration the shade if you have solar. So I have often talked about the importance of having portable solar panels and this is one of those situations because I can park in the shade and get plenty of shade but move my panels into the sun. So. I hooked up my van powers this morning and now it's time to clean up my campsite because it got a bit chaotic yesterday evening. I just kind of threw stuff everywhere. How are you this morning? Are you having a good morning? You look very especially handsome today. I put out my other Yargo solar panel while I had <laughs> the chance. So that is up right now with my van powers, taking advantage of the fact that I have complete sun in this spot right now, and I'll see how the sun shifts throughout the day. I plan to try my small Yargo panel today, and Maddie had the good idea of putting it on my back hatch, so I think I will try out that. Also, I moved my gate with the cones up front here because Winston was interested in coming near the street so I put up the gate and it actually did stop him and he turned around so that's good. Of course I always keep my eyes on him but having the gate and the cones there really sets that boundary for him so it's going to be a beautiful day. about 70 and sunny. The sun is much warmer up here in northern Arizona because of course we are a higher elevation. Gotta make sure to wear that sunscreen or stay in the shade. Gets, gets very toasty. Cooking some bacon and eggs to get our day started. Need that energy, right? Cooking while camping is just it's a different vibe, especially when you're in the pine trees. Good boy, that's your boundary, huh? Good boy staying over here. Thank you so much. Would you like a special bone now? Because you're being so good? Good boy, let's get you a smart bone. You want one? Let's go get one. I'm testing out my new Yargo 100 watt solar panel. Y'all, this is as good as the other one. Just a little hint. I have my review coming this week, but you won't want to miss it because this panel is different than anything I've ever used, and I love it so far. It is beautiful and warm today, and I have cleaned up my campsite. Winston is eating a bone. I hung up my tapestry just because, of course, I enjoy that vibe. Got everything organized and I am listening to the Arizona Diamondbacks play their baseball game today. My tarp pole is working out nicely to keep the pressure off my shocks for my hatch. Want to keep those new shocks new and working as long as I can. I still have my van powers out. Looks like I need to shift it a little bit because it's in the shade of a tree, but easy to do course have the ramp up for Winston and my other celestial tapestry in my door just for privacy when I use my toilet. Maddie's over there tinkering. He put up his shower tent today as well as his tarp and we just keep kind of shifting the chairs and everything with the shade. 
It's been a super busy day around here today. We are camped right off the forest road, like most people are in this area, and we've seen so much traffic. So many people have been heading out. Uh, this was a holiday weekend for people who celebrate, so there were lots of families camped, but it is clearing out, so it's been interesting to watch everybody leave. I'm sitting in my van briefly because I was feeding Winston and I'm just looking around and I love my van so much and look at that view out of my trunk space. The pine trees. Oh, I am obsessed with my van. But I've put so much love and passion and effort into it. It's so perfect. I'm so happy with it. I'm just so happy with the way everything has turned out over the last couple of years. I got my area nice and cleaned up today. Winston just ate his dinner, so now he's munching on his smart bone. I give him smart bones, which are chicken and veggie bones. They are not rawhide. So they are totally safe for our doggos to eat. On the agenda tomorrow is showering. I'm going to shower. It's going to be about 76 and sunny, so it'll be a good day to do so. And in the meantime, we're just going to have an awesome evening. We're in the van for the night and look at that view of the pine trees. I turned on my lights to uh, just get that gypsy hippie vibe that I like going on, lit my candle. We still probably have about 45 minutes of daylight. But when I can, I like to get Winston in the van just a little bit early so we can wind down before it gets dark. Good morning. Winston and I just woke up. I drank my coffee. It is pristine out right now around 9.30 a.m. Going to be a warm one, about 76 degrees. So I hung my tapestry on the other side of my van just to keep my fridge and my van powers power station out of the sun. UV index is much higher up here, but it'll be a great day to take a shower. I just put some water in my collapsible bucket for my shower and covered it with a black trash bag. It's an easy way to warm up your water. I've gotten some questions about this white high pressure nozzle that I use with my shower. It actually came with the shower. I did not purchase it separately, so there is a link to my portable shower in the description, of course. I'm not going to wash my hair, so I'll just use about a gallon and a half of water to get a good rinse off. Let's see what Kiddo's up to. Oh, you know, just living his best life. Cute boy. Here is my finished breakfast, bacon and eggs with a little bit of cheese. I use the bacon grease to cook my eggs and I dump the excess grease into a can so I can dispose of it properly. But I have lost 13 pounds this year and uh, I've done it by not totally eliminating carbs but drastically reducing my carb intake, increasing my protein intake, intermittent fasting so I eat between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m and also eating a protein packed breakfast. It'll, it'll keep me full most of the day so I don't feel like snacking. And of course I'm gonna share with kiddo. Y'all are so used to seeing my campsite completely clean and organized and glorious, but this is a raw look of what it looks like after I just cooked. I have dishes to do. I have my shower out. I need to clean up my cooking table, which I've talked about this butane stove before. This is the mini gas one that I discovered because of Maddie, and it's made it so much easier to cook and make my coffee. I love it. There is a, an Amazon link in the description, of course. But I have a whole bunch of stuff charging. I'm charging my shower pump, so I have that going. My bed is absolutely not made. Um, I need to throw away my coffee grounds. So yeah, it's, uh, this is what it looks like before I start cleaning. And really for me and van life, cleaning is an all day process because I love it for starters and I pride myself in my cleanliness. But yeah, this is, 
this is my raw van life chaos. I have my van power solar panel out. It's drawing good sun this morning. I actually left it out last night. I do that every now and then, just depending on safety and security of the area. And I need to get out my smaller Van Powers solar panels <clears throat> to charge up those, my Rock Pals and my Jackery power stations once I'm finished charging up my devices. And here's Kiddo trying to bury his bone. Good boy. There's a gorgeous breeze through the pine trees today. I love the noise it makes. It's about noon. I got a bunch of stuff done this morning. I'm going to wait probably another hour or so before I get in the shower to clean up. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate you. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.